I think that I, can, well, cannabis is a medicine. It's also, you know, a, a bringer together of people. But it's but as as its medical as medicinal qualities are pretty strong. However, I I strongly believe myself that if you were cannabis should be grown organically. Um, this is important. You know, there's a lot of people out there. I don't really trying to grow hemp, uh, trying to to make medicine. I don't know how they're growing it. I don't know what their process is. I know that it's coming in greenhouses, it's coming in great quantities, it's coming to some other states. We, we don't really know exactly what's going on, except that there's going to be a lot of it. Organic gardening is just another mindset. And basically it just revolves around the recycling. You know, recycling um, other plant products into the earth to create a better substrate for for cannabis to grow in but it's also clean or should be and that means you know no no trash just organic materials that, that come from the trees or from the farm or from the garden and not adding any you know significant amount of chemistry to the soil because that changes everything so if you're if you're adding you know like potassium nitrate from a bag from the garden store, you're destroying your soil bacteria and the worms and all of the all of the things that live in the soil. That stuff is deadly. It it makes the plants green. Okay, great, but you can do that without having to resort to chemical fertilizer. So for me, that's always been a big part of of my discussion about this plant is the is the respect that it deserves to you know help people get over their disorders also and it's just a, such a great thing for for stress and tension and for um, you know the muscle pain and uh, as, a, as a producer of CBD for the new CBD medications that are coming out and I think that you know we're seeing a rush to CBD now and I'm just crossing my fingers that a lot of the CBD will have been properly produced with care and with organic practices because it makes a difference. It really does. It makes a difference not only to the long-term use of the plant, but the, the long-term health of the soil. And uh, it's, you know, when we, when, we really, when we really love our plants, we want them to have the very best. We don't really want them to have take shortcuts. We don't want farmers to take shortcuts and, and just push them into maturity uh, at, at, at strange times of the year. You know, nature, nature bats last, as they say. And it really should come first in everybody's thinking about how to manage these plants. Work with nature. Nature has, has a program, and it's a good one. So it, it also is the least input of all the programs. You don't have to work that hard if you're working with nature rather than around nature, you know, you get trying to get around the, the facts of life. So, you know, we're, it's, part, it's also part of the friendship and the gratitude. We really hope people understand the gifts that this plant has to give and can um, reciprocate by treating it with care and with love and, and uh, proper use.